right guys, welcome to Hump Day with GB Linden. Hump Day RC with GB Linden. I see a lot of familiar faces in there. Uh, we've got uh, James from Motion RC in the chat right now. He said he's going to be off to the side potentially, so if he does not respond uh, to your uh, anything that you're typing, uh, no offense, is intended. We've got George Watts in the house, Skyblazer, Nate. I had Ethan a little earlier. I think he's still in here. Pilot Ryan Media is in here. Jeff's Custom RC. Bryce H. A lot of familiar faces. Lee Davidson, of course. Jermaine, what's going on, brother? Channel 6. Ethan, there's Ethan. Randy, thank you for joining us. RC Air Marshal. Yeah, man. Motion RC. I love this shirt. I like how it fits, guys. Especially uh, in your early 40s, this definitely uh, does a good job of being flattering. So next, your next order could be uh, something like the, the Havoc. That's for next week. Or we've got this right here for tonight. And honestly, guys, I think you guys are going to find this glider very, very appealing. I know that when it was revealed at Null in the Fall... I was really excited, man. I was typing like crazy as fast as my thumbs would go in the chat. It's got lights. It's got a really simple design, but smart design. So um, I cannot wait to dig into that. So we'll do a few more introductions, and then we'll get right back there, guys, because I really do. I took a quick peek. Um, I saw some reflection off the foam. Did kind of an intro, so when I do do a full unboxing, I'll be able to do that. But we're gonna we're gonna take out all the parts and pieces tonight. That's for sure. Hey, Joe and Joe B, welcome. Uh, you need to be a moderator. Welcome to Hump Day RC. Let's see. Furball, welcome. Wreckham Roy's RC. I I showed Roy just kind of a, a very quick clip to test the audio, make sure that intro part for the unboxing looked good. That way we could have fun tonight. Get all the parts and pieces taken out. Let's go on, fly everything, welcome. Let's give you a wrench, make you a moderator. Danny Miller, uh, Danny Miller, thank you. In fact, I went to school with the Dan Miller. Good dude. Uh, actually worked on the Halo series, Halo video game series, so that is cool. Yeah, the T-33, man. If you guys did not get a T-33, I think there's still uh, one of the ARF Pluses or, or whatever they call that where you can drop your own motor and stuff in there. That might be the way to go, guys. Cause it is a kick-ass jet. If you saw my first and second flights, you'd see that I took to it very quick and easy. I'm very conservative with my flights generally, but man... I was turning and burning, and very cool plane, guys. Very cool plane. Let's see here. Josh Weaver RC. Let's give him some thumbs up. He does a great job. He's so community focused, very selfless with his stream. So it always gives me a nice intro. So let's give him some thumbs up, some thanks, and uh, if you didn't watch his show. Watch on the replay. He's always got excellent advice and detail. Hey, Guniac. Guniac is in the house, guys. Quick plug for Guniac. He makes the fire booty. And if I keep my energy up, we'll we'll do a quick demo of this in the beautiful A4 Skyhawk, guys. If you have not seen my videos for the Freewing A4 Skyhawk, you should check it out. I've got one on my random reviews channel with just my GoPro footage, unedited. It's literally just what it was with wide angle. You can see just how fast it actually is. It's not a speed demon, but, but some folks have said it's slow. It's not slow. It's not slow. And they have a high performance edition out now too. So certainly check that out, guys. All right, Pilot Ryan, definitely, I'm sure you have tons of stuff to edit and, and all that. Thank you for stopping by, and, and hopefully you'll pop in here a little bit later with some killer questions about uh, this guy right here. All 
All right, guys, let's get to it. And I'm going to switch back to the, the GB Linden Studio. And we're going to just unbox it and take a look at all the parts and pieces. I don't think I'll do a full assembly, but but uh, I'll do basically a dry fit more, more or less. So let's get into that, guys. Alright guys, I'm in the room off camera. I'm going to do a quick audio test and see if uh, I want you guys to tell me how the audio sounds. Alright, so let's do an audio test here because this is where I plan to be most of the time. Alright guys, here we go. I'll kind of check this out periodically. Pilot Ryan, you're hilarious, dude. Alright, so before I completely unbox it, we'll go over some basic specs. Uh, the wingspan is 1400 millimeters. This is an electric sports glider. So it's not going to be doing 3D, you're not going to be hanging by the prop. Uh, but it's got, let's see here, it's a six cell plane, so you can fly from 1300, and I know that James is, was flying with the 2200, and the battery bay is large, so you've got some options there. Uh, foldable propeller, 30 amp ESC, and heck, that's it, let's, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. This is how it comes packaged, guys. Carbon spar right there. Of course, lots of nice tape. Protective foam. Oh, yeah, this color looks great, guys. Oh, my goodness. Man frame. Yep, looks like I'm doing okay. So, this is what it looks like, guys. This color, I'm not sure if my camera is going to do it justice, but this color looks really good. We also have a light, a nice big LED light. So if you want to do some gliding at dusk, that's when I like to, to use my gliders the most, if I'm being honest. When the air starts to calm down a little bit and just some nice serene summer gliding. Um, another thing that really stands out to me is this quick connect. Look at that, guys. It's also got flaps. Glider with flaps. My... Uh, Night Radian is only three channel. It doesn't have flaps, doesn't have ailerons. So this is a huge upgrade right there. Wow, this color is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that color, guys. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's popping in there a bit. Yeah, Dave, I'm not gonna lick it, dude. going on Dustin yeah it, it flies on three cell guys yeah sorry if I misspoke during that it's a three cell plane it'll fly from 1300 milliamp hours on up to 2200 we'll take a look at the battery bay here shortly Wow, this horizontal stab is not small. Look at that. I love this color. This is going to stand out really nice in the skies, guys. Alright, here's my bag of parts. We've got the nose cone, the props, uh, servo connectors. Cool. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Get this out of the way. Hopefully my camera is doing this beautiful purple justice. It is, 
I love it. I'm not even a, a fan of purple, but it looks really good with this green. And let's take a look inside the battery bay. But before we do that, we've got the nice quick connect there. That is cool. Let's see. There we go. Alright guys, lots of space, XT60, and all these things are labeled, that's cool. Got a little foam there, fresh from China. And no Dave, I'm not going to lick that or snort that either. Alright, let me check the chat here real quick. No, Bryce, it does not use ADS. That's funny. Let's see here. Oh, and guys, it takes a six channel receiver, and that is because, well, five channel, uh, but most people get six channels. That's because it has the flaps. I'm going to do a quick dry fit here. Wow, that pops in nice and easy. All right. Yeah, that fits in great. And here's the cool thing, guys. For those of you with small cars like I have, this is your safety guy. So you've got the quick connect connectors that pop that in there and then all you do is slide that in there and that holds the wing on well it wasn't in frame but holds the wing on nice and tight so that is awesome here's the other cool thing is you get to pop this thing in here and I have not practiced this, guys, so if I don't do it right the first time, don't give me too much crap. Oh, yeah, it just slides right in there, man. Yeah. That just slides right in there. And apparently you don't need glue. You can add some if you want, but you don't necessarily need it. And uh, James mentioned it in his video, in the Motion RC video, that you can adjust these right there to make it so you can link this up. The rudder is also internal, so if you need to trim it, mechanically trim it, all you have to do is access it right there, so no big deal. And it just takes a, a little Allen wrench, looks like a two, mil, 2 millimeter or a 1.5 millimeter. Not too bad at all. So we've got a nice big plastic skid plate right there on the bottom and a nice big plastic skid plate right up there too in the back so that is cool and yeah I always forget the carbon spars so let me put let me do a demo of how this comes apart and then I'll reassemble it with the carbon spar Man, that fits in there tight. There we go. So the only time I've had a maiden flight uh, ever go wrong since I learned how to fly was when I forgot one of these guys. All right. Before I assemble it, I'm going to check the chat here real quick. Nice, George Watts. You got the Havoc. That's that's next week, man. Yeah. Totally, James. It is just a dry fit. You don't need glue or screws. That, 
This thing is so cool, guys. The color is really nice. And the price. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to drop uh, my link in the chat so you guys can check out the current price. I'll be right back. All right, guys, check out that link. And James, I just realized that uh, I hadn't added Motion RC as a moderator yet, so you'll be able to drop drop links throughout this. In fact, I would, if you want to, please uh, drop your recommended battery pack uh, in the chat there. All right, so let's just uh, dry fit this thing just as we planned. And normally it's easier to uh, put these things together when you have the carbon spar in there, so that's cool. And yeah, this fits nice and tight, guys. All right. This is a beautiful plane. Let me put this thing on. Alright, that's what it looks like, guys. You see. It's a beautiful plane, guys. I don't think my web camera is doing it any justice. Hopefully during the flight videos that uh, John and I are going to do with it. All right, all right, I'll put the prop on it, and I'll add moderator there. All right, so let's get into our bits here, guys. These are the linkages. I'm not going to do those, but I will definitely uh, see what happens with the prop. Actually, let me put this in real quick. Show you just how easy this is. And no, obviously I did not practice this either, so that shows you just how easy it is. Very nice. All right. That was not expected. All right, let me grab that prop real quick. So you want to make sure you've got the right direction, so you slide that on. Let's see here. Okay, unscrew the plate, there we go. Alright guys, so you just unscrew the plate. Okay, alright. I need to go grab some stuff from my car real quick. I'll be right back, guys.
All right, guys, I'm back. Let's see. Perfect. All right, so there's a flat spot here. Probably won't be able to see it. But I loosened up the grub screw and slide this on here. I'm going to try and match that up with the flat spot. And I hope this is entertaining for you guys. There we go. It's a nice tight fit, guys. That's good. All right. So now, slide that on. Make sure this is facing the right way. Very cool. Oh wow, and you just screw this thing on. Man, it's that simple, guys. That's hilarious, Ethan. All right, so, yeah, for now I'm just gonna do a hand tightened. Look at this plane, guys. The colors look incredible. What's going on, Wesley? Welcome, man. Yeah. You guys, I cannot wait to fly this thing. It, this thing is awesome, man. This thing is awesome. And just very basic setup from here uh, hook up the receiver and then link these up man that's cool that is very cool guys all right so i'm going to switch to the other camera so you can see myself in comparison to this and then we're going to do something else that's fun All right, guys, so we're going to get a different look here. So I'm wondering if you can see the nice colors from this angle and see just how big this thing is. It is not a small, small glider. Let's get a nice up close look too. Let's look inside the canopy so I can see easier what I'm doing here. Lots of battery bay storage, and it slides back in there. Very cool. And guys, given what's going on in China right now, click on that link. Get these, or get yours, before they sell out. Because planes are in short supply. They're in stock now, they might not be tomorrow, so check it out, guys. Yeah, too comfy, too quick. I think that might be an issue for me with this. I, I feel like a little kid at Christmas that found their new toy that they like and they don't want to let go of it. That's kind of how I'm feeling about this right now, guys, if I'm being honest. And I think... I might be doing the, the colors reasonably decent justice too. Like this is a beautiful plane guys. Oh I did put it on backwards didn't I? Yep. I did put it on backwards. That's alright. We'll go back in the studio. I'll show you how quick it is to fix that.
Got it. So not too much speed. Flat like a glider. I got it. I got it. Crap. All right, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just having some fun, though. Having fun with RC. Alright guys, check this thing out. This is the A4 Skyhawk. I do need a logo. I've been talking about that for a while, I just, uh, I'm kind of picky. But I absolutely, I've got some ideas for what I want to do. So, I'm going to get the nose cone too. Alright, so this thing has a magnetic nose cone too. I'm not going to grab the old tubey thing. But what we're going to do... Even though this thing's designed for the Freewing F35, 
I want to give uh, Ray a little bit of a shout out with his fire booty here. And frankly, I wouldn't mind having one in my A4. So, you guys get ready to be blinded. Check that out, guys. Let me see. Yep, you can see it. All right, guys. This thing is flipping awesome. Yeah, <laughs> totally, James. Hey, Wild Bill Flynn. Thank you, man. So, we're going to kill the lights. And we're going to check this out, man. Wow. Look at all the light this thing gives off, guys. Fire booty indeed. And if you hook it up correctly, it uh, flickers and does different things based on your throttle management. But man, I absolutely... Yeah, it almost does have smoke coming off it, doesn't it? That's crazy. And I love this A4 Skyhawk, guys. It is such a cool jet with so much personality that I had to throw, even though it's stock, this does not come with the fire booty, I had to show it. In fact, I'm going to slide this to the side a little bit. Also, shout out for the Admiral 4000 60C Pro. Look at this jet, guys. Boom. You can change the variant with this thing. It also comes with the, the refuel deal, but I didn't add that on here tonight. I've got that stored separately. Let's, let's make this thing look as sexy as it can. Doesn't need that much help, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah Pilot Ryan, it totally does. <laughs> Oh my god, Josh, that is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's got a fire booty too, believe it or not. I've got the upgraded version of the Shrike right here, dude. That is hilarious. The A4 does totally kick ass, man. I love that plane. It, it flies a lot like the SU-30. Um, I think after flying the SU-30, I'm going to be flying this thing a lot more. I learned a lot on the flights with that one. So coming up, as soon as the weather cooperates and I get a few maidens out of the way, I'm going to be flying this thing a ton, guys. And I have a feeling as soon as I start putting out those videos, it's going to go flying off the shelf. So if you like, in fact, I'm going to spin this around if you guys like the look of this plane and james uh definitely drop a link in the description if you want for this uh, a4 skyhawk this is just a sexy jet man it's got personality i saw one at the, the abbotsford air show a couple years ago and it was right about the time that this thing was released, and I was like, man, I'd love to get one of those someday. I got one, and with or without this thing, it is sexy. And it, this is held on by magnets and plastic spikes, which is pretty kick-ass. So for storage, I just put that on there. I like to fly it without it. 
I like the look without a little bit better. Man, I love this thing. Oh boy, I must have missed something. That is hilarious. Wesley, you are hilarious, dude. Nuts to butts. Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna plug the fire booty back in. And I've got the the Shrike set up in the other room, so when we're done with this here shortly, I am going to just have that in the background and we're gonna talk through it. I'll be able to keep up with the chat a little better. All right, guys, look at that. Looking good. And of course, if you install it correctly, all the wires are coming through the front. It is a fantastic jet, no doubt about it, Wesley. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, check out my GB Linden's Random Reviews channel. Um, of course, I've had the, the maiden flight with this thing on my regular GB Linden's RC channel right here for quite a while. But not that long ago, I uploaded the GoPro footage on my head of this thing. And I think it gives a pretty cool perspective versus the Maiden. Both, I think, add value. But I thought it was really cool what that did. So there you go. I'm going to switch to the other camera, and then we're going to chat some more, guys. Nate, you absolutely need to get one, dude. It 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 feels a lot like the A4 or the SU30, only it turns a lot tighter. It's really hard to explain, but it, it feels similar. It feels very similar to the SU30, only it's it doesn't resist the turns quite as much. So it's got a lot of the positive things. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate it, man. Um, so yeah. Yeah, man. Let's see here. Yeah, I totally do need to get that in the F-35, Ray. I really do. Good night, Ricky. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. No, no, Roy. You're, you're not going to fly it, so it's not going to bounce off the curb. I know that much. So, guys, this uh, past... I think it was Sunday, right? This past Sunday, Roy and I were able to get out and fly. And uh, it was pretty windy and some other stuff was going on. But uh, Roy was going to fly regardless. He, he didn't care. He was going to get some flying in. So he bounced his E-Flight F-16. It was his redemption flight, but he bounced it off the curb on takeoff. So, yeah, unfortunately. And let me reposition that, that Shrike. Screw it. I'm just going to hold on to it. Like I said, I feel like a kid on Christmas with this thing. Let's see here. Yeah, let's go that way. I'm just going to hang on to this thing. Sorry, Christy. It was just one of those uh, quick things. Yeah, there's nothing Pelosi about this, man. Nothing Pelosi style about that, but that does taste mighty fine. This is a beauty, guys. This is an absolute beauty. 
fact, let me just set it right here. Yeah, that should be good. They can be, John. I pretty much, yeah, I love the scheme too, Guniac. It is a beautiful, beautiful plane. I cannot wait to utilize the flaps. There's so much cool stuff on it, man. But yeah, John Noons, curbs can definitely be uh, an issue, especially where I fly. You have to, you just have to ignore them and and fly and let that hammer down, man. So otherwise, it's it's you're not gonna fly. So there you go. Nate, you fly uh, full-scale gliders? Do you see them? Nice, Arrows. And Arrows lives in my state. He lives in Washington, man. And also, guys, I know I've said it before, but this beautiful plane... Get it by clicking that link at Motion RC. Hey, Steve, welcome, man. You, sir, get a blue wrench. Wow, Nate, that is cool. So, so do you have any RC gliders like this? Would that be of interest to you, or or is the A4 a little more your speed, my man? So speaking of Discover RC, it seems like it's pretty uh, intermittent when he's put when John's putting out those videos. Every once in a while, he will uh, jump into the chat here on the stream too. Yeah, for me. Part of the reason why I'm so excited about this glider is I love both extremes. I love flying the jets like the A4 and then slowing it down and having some nice relaxing flight. I like the intense. I like the the relaxing and I like to mix it up in the middle sometimes too. But lately I've been more or less one extreme or the other. The Shrike floats, Wesley? Dude, you gotta tell me about that. Yep, I totally know that, Nate, because I asked you that, but that's good for everyone else in the chat uh, to know that. It did actually look like that school that you flew at in that SU-30 uh, fire booty video. It did look a lot like that Discover RC school uh, that they had been kicked out of, actually. I did not know that JCB67 and welcome. I don't think I acknowledged you earlier on, so thank you for that little bit of trivia. Very much appreciated, my friend. Yeah, the price, guys. I don't think I've even mentioned the price. Plug and play, 139 currently. And I'm not sure how many they got in or how long they're going to be in stock, but man, this thing looks awesome. And it feels awesome. Like, it feels solid on the bottom. Like, I'm not, I don't, a lot of times when you when you throw a, a hand tosser, you're not sure how it feels. Like, you, if, if it feels weak, it doesn't, it's not reassuring. This, I can definitely give it a nice toss. And I am left-handed, so... Uh, hand tossers are not that big of a deal to me. Speaking of hand tossers, guys, we're not just going to talk about the A, uh, the Shrike, the A4. We've got other stuff to talk about, and I'll be right back. Yeah, it has lights, man. It's got nice, big, look at those things. Big, bulbous lights. I bet they're nice and bright, too. 
Sometimes on video it doesn't translate, but that's pretty sweet. But I will be right back, guys. Alright guys. Okay, what did I miss? Me too, Wesley. Hand tossing indeed. Speaking of hand tossing, we've got the Lippish P15 right here. This thing is awesome. It's also very durable. Uh, I was a little careless and nosed it in the ground quite hard and it took it and took it very well. Uh, this the flight envelope on this thing is amazing and it takes 3s batteries i fly 3s 1500s and it flies them great 3s 1800s work just fine too i love this guy this looks like a scale model guys i'm getting a little glare off the lights on this thing because it's nice and silver but this is a beautiful Man, just sitting, just hanging off my ceiling. This thing is impressive. But in the air, it looks awesome too. It is fast. Uh, we did some speed runs with John VH, RC, and I with this. And I can't remember what we clocked it at, but it was for a 3S jet. Both of these are 3S jets, guys. And they run on basically the same pack. I think they're both $109 right now, and they're worth every penny. The finish on these, before I, I messed up the nose on this, the finish was perfect on these. And you can see the rest of the plane, very nice finish, multi-layered paint. Pretty awesome, guys. I love these things. You fly a Mustang through the Lippich. So wait a minute. Wesley, you crashed uh, a Mustang through a Lippish and the Mustang kept flying? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, man. This thing is really stout, too. That's crazy. Poor Captain America. Oh my god. Wesley, it seems like you need to share some more crashes. Uh, you can share them more now on in the chat in this stream right here. Oh, is your custom lippy? Damn, Wesley. Damn, son. Wow. At least these, and the custom parts, that's the downer. But if you don't customize them like this, you just buy another one. 103 bucks, easy assembly, little bit of glue, drop in a receiver, quick programming, boom, you're set. Set the thing right there. Yeah, I need to make some more videos with this sometime soon. This is a slick, slick jet. Needs a little bit of space to turn around, guys, because it's like it's like an arrow, man. It's so awesome. Man, captured Lippy had invasion stripes. Have a good night, Nate. Good to see you, brother. Man, I want to get my hands on one of those Mustangs at some point. Um, 
Wreckin' Roy's RC. I'm not sure if you saw that video or not, James, but I got footage of him flying his yellow one. And he did a good job showing off the flight envelope. Nice slow uh, passes, but he was zipping a bit too, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I bet that was an epic crash. Man, crashes are one of those things where at first, for me, if, if you don't get it on video, that's the first question is, okay, okay guys, did anyone get that on video? After that, you're like, okay, what do we got to do from there? But normally my stomach is sick, regardless of whether you get it on video or not, but that, that cushions it a little bit. But uh, yeah, so Reckham Roy's RC, he's got one of those Mustangs. It's nice. He made in his yellow, and and at some point that that uh, Dora looks pretty dang good too. I believe it. That Lippish, that with. Let's see here. With this Delta-ish de wing design, guys, once it's in the air, um, I've got a, a switch set for takeoff. So this intake here will suck it down a little bit. So I've got a takeoff switch, so it, it uh, knocks up the elevators. So just give it a nice toss. I also put some grip tape in there too. So if you get a little sweaty fingers before you do something, it's not going to cause you problems. Yeah, I never recommend crashes. Like Wild Bill. Have a good night, Mike. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Uh, so Wild Bill and Roy, they crash quite a bit. I'm always telling them, guys, don't crash. Don't crash on purpose. And by the way, it's 64 millimeter, and it will absolutely cook. This thing is really, really, really fast. Speaking of that, Wesley and and James, do you think the Lippish is is uh, faster than the P51, or is the Lippish, or vice versa? Which one do you think is faster between the two? Right. Okay, 3S versus 4S. Got it. So the 4S P51 is faster. Got it. Yeah, man. Roy's looked awesome. Cool looking little plane. All right, sounds good, Pilot Ryan. So on 3S, which one is a little is the lippy faster? Because I know the lip, lip the lippish the P15 is really fast. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, I noticed that too when I was uh, because obviously I hadn't had a chance to fly this thing yet. It was still in the box. I noticed, yeah, Rilo. It's, well, it's the, the F-105. It's not the Super Saber. It's the um, Thunder Chief. But uh, back to what I was saying is I noticed that this is really floaty too, which is really nice. Really nice. And it's also got flaps, guys. It's got ailerons, it's got rudders, it's got elevators, it's got flaps, so... It takes a little bit different, a uh, little bit different receiver than uh, than like the the Radian, the Night Radian, which is only three channels. So, yeah, the Thud, the Thunder Chief. In fact, let's look inside the battery bay. I haven't looked in here forever, so let's see what happens. Yeah, and all of these little guys have. Pretty much all the planes have really nice, big, spacious battery bays. And that's where I've got my receiver mounted right there.
Gotcha, Rilo. A catfish mouth. Interesting. I would. I know John VHRC would love to see an F100 Super Saber. Would absolutely love that, guys. In fact, whenever something comes out, he always complains that it's not an F100. That tells you how much he wants one. So, take that for what it's worth. I haven't seen Alpha in the chat tonight, but uh, maybe he'll watch the replay and, and he's, he'll see that and take it under advisement. All right, Wesley, have a good night, Princess. We appreciate you stopping by and uh, adding some details about you and uh, James's adventures. And I have to say, I am quite jealous that uh, I have not been able to fly with you and James yet, but at some point, we'll change that, guys. At some point, we'll absolutely change that. You know, hey, Mickey B, what's going on, man? I want an F-106 too, Ray. Man, there's so many, so many jets that I would love to have. And I need to walk, knock down walls and hang more stuff from the ceiling to make more room for all the different cool planes. Because I love all planes, man. Whether it's something like this, something like that, something like that. Or, or something like that A4 Skyhawk. So much cool stuff. Yeah, F-106 would be sweet. And honestly, I don't even care which size. Because each of these things have their own character that, that make them nice. Yeah. So cool. I love this hobby so much, guys. And I appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. Um, even with with me having to run out to my car, uh, putting the prop on this thing backwards, all that stuff. I just love this hobby. And I love my planes from Motion RC. Yeah, I like I like scale planes best too, man. If if it's something that actually exists. Have a good night, EQ. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. All right, guys, do we... Actually, let me check my notes real quick. Sometimes I sign off and I'm like, man, I want to talk about that. I'm glad, to, glad that you had a successful maiden flight with that SU-30 Mickey B. And I'm glad that uh, Josh... Weaver RC had a successful maiden flight with his F-35 based on the feedback I gave him. I, I love talking to you guys off to the side about RC. I love this hobby. Uh, I love every, all these planes surrounding me. I appreciate all your support, guys. Um, every single one of you that shows up in the chat each week, very much appreciated. I am going to... Drop the link for the Skynetic. The Skynetic Strike, guys. That is the brand new product line. Uh, it just came in stock. The Havoc. We'll do that next week. That's behind me right there under the wing. Both of these planes just came in stock, guys. So uh, they'll be available for a limited time. I'm not sure with the overseas situation what's going to happen with that uh, as far as replenishment. So if you want one, either one of these planes, guys... I would do it sooner than later. That's my take on it, guys. Uh, we're going to give you two more minutes, guys, if you've got some more questions and stuff. All right, Dave Marshall has a question. Yeah, maybe. I would ask, you know, hey, you've got pretty good access to James. I'd ask him just kind of on the down low. On that, but honestly, uh, John, John VHRC, he has one of those things. And between that new T33, and he's flown everything from turbine jets to uh, real planes and everything in between. Uh, that F22 is his favorite jet, Dave. 
that and the T-33. The T-33 is, is very close, he says. But that F F-22 is amazing. Okay, yeah, James has no idea as to when. I say just get it, man. If it's in stock, I would get it. That's my take. Have a good night, Jermaine. Thanks for stopping by, man. All right, let me... So do you guys have any more questions on this thing? Have a good night, uh, George Watts. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Look how big this thing is, guys. It's going to stand out in the sky. It's got nice lights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet that would be awesome with that uh, Starscream tattoo on it. That's true. That F-18 in that Blue Angel scheme looks really, really good to me too, man. Roy, I'm going to fly this as soon as John is available. Uh, so I can put it in there, man. I am seriously like a kid on Christmas. I just love the way this thing feels in my hand. I love the looks. I love the colors. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate it, man. So hopefully very soon. I'm not sure how the weekend I've got. I was setting up uh, the home show for the company that I work for today, and I'm going to be working the booth over the weekend. So probably not this weekend, but and the weather doesn't look like it's going to cooperate anyway, so as soon as I can, as soon as I can, I've got two other planes I want to maiden two, but this will probably be first on the list because I'm really curious to see how this thing handles. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you very much for joining us tonight so I could unbox this and uh, do some live unboxing TV stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to drop the link one more time so you guys can check it out, check out the price, check out the features. Hey, RC, or, uh, Fred Baron RC. Thank you for stopping by, dude. Hadn't seen you pop in here yet, so appreciate it. Hey, Keith Christie. All right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out.